Hello, Brazil. My name is William Che from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And I want to provide you with a brief summary of a talk that I just provided at the Digestive Diseases Week 2013 on the potential importance of food in the irritable bowel syndrome. There's no question that food plays a big role in the development of symptoms of IBS. In fact, up to two-thirds of IBS patients say that their symptoms either start or are aggravated by eating a meal. Despite this, we really haven't had a good understanding of how food might contribute to IBS symptoms and certainly haven't had a good idea about diets that might make IBS symptoms better. But over the last few years, there's been increasing evidence to suggest that diet not only plays a role in, in, in IBS symptoms, but might be a, a very effective primary treatment strategy for patients with IBS. So for example, there's recent data to suggest that a gluten-free diet might benefit patients with IBS symptoms. And patients, I, IBS symptoms, who have been evaluated for and found not to have celiac disease. There's also starting to be some very interesting translational data to, to support the effects of a gluten-free diet in the GI tracts of patients with IBS. There's also some preliminary data to suggest that low carbohydrate diets may benefit patients with IBS and probably the, the diet that's most, been most extensively studied to date is the low FODMAP diet. FODMAP is an acronym for uh, fermentable oligo dye monosaccharides and polyols, which is a term that refers to short chain carbohydrates that are not well absorbed by the intestine and when they get to the colon are fermented to produce short chain fatty acids as well as gas. It really shouldn't come as much of a surprise that the production of lots of short chain fatty acids creating an osmotic load and the production of gas in an individual with IBS who has abnormal sensation as well as motor function, motility, leads to the development of symptoms. And along that vein, there have now been several studies to suggest that a low FODMAP diet, that is restricting the intake of FODMAPs in the diet, can be associated with improvements in IBS symptoms. So to summarize, diet plays a critically important role in the development of symptoms in patients with IBS. And in addition, there's starting to be some very exciting preliminary data to suggest that certain types of diets, elimination diets, gluten-free diets, low FODMAP diets, might benefit patients with IBS. Thanks so much, and sorry you can't be here to join us at Digestive Diseases Week.